What's up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm here with my brother Dan, and we are here with... Coffee with Cameron. Coffee with Cameron. Let's do it. I sent out a little request about a Q&A, and I got a ton of feedback from that. So, the first question comes from Samantha on YouTube. What's the first five things that come to your mind that you think you couldn't live without? Probably oxygen, food, water, sleep, my inhaler. No, but seriously though, let's, let's think about this. <laughs> I think number one would obviously be my Bible. I've been a Christian all my life, and uh, God's word is very important to me. You know, the living word, direction, correction, all that goodness, so I think number one would obviously be my Bible. The second would probably be my guitar. It's a beautiful guitar. Thank you. Yes, this is a Martin. Probably couldn't live without music, so this is this definitely helps me with my creativity. I'm an artist and a creator, so it's really important for me to have some kind of outlet, so I would definitely bring my guitar as well. I think the third thing would be my camera. I'm a videographer, a photographer. Um, I've been taking pictures probably since it was when MySpace was going around, so. MySpace got me interested in taking pictures. My brothers would go around town and take some photos of ourselves. And that got me interested in taking photos and understanding cameras and how using light works and all that kind of stuff, so the third would definitely be my camera. We won't talk about the trouble we got into using the video camera. Maybe we'll bring that out sometime, bring out the, if we can find it. There was some fire involved. Fourth thing would probably be jammies. <laughs> I can't live without jammies, especially warm, cozy, comfy ones. Living up in upstate New York, you know, those nights get cold. Nice, you know, hoodie to, to snuggle up with and to, to keep warm with. Number five, my glasses. These are all dusty because I have a new prescription, but here's some like crazy orange ones. Oh, we have another pair too. Ooh. There's a little scrape on my glasses from when I got, when I hit the microphone with my face. So I think those are the five things, ooh. Bonus one. Whoa! Toothbrush. I hate it when my teeth feel disgusting. They start to hurt. They start to look funny and hairy. Don't want to have peach teeth. Yeah, I don't want peach teeth. Oh, <laughs> sounds disgusting. So the next question comes from Pearl from Instagram. Who do you find cool glasses? Oh, it's always hard finding glasses in the store that looked cool in the way I wanted them. So we started getting glasses right when online glasses were a thing. So we started out with Zenny Optical, I Buy Direct. These are from Fermu. Um, love these things. These are like, they got flowers on them. You know, I, got a, I got a thing for flowers, so. The next one comes from Janelle from Instagram. Pop or soda? Well, I say soda, but I kind of wish I said pop. If I started saying pop more often, people would like look at me funny because we, we all say soda up here, um, but I kind of wish it was pop. Nothing like a good, cool, tall glass of soda pop. Next one comes from Casey on Instagram. Love you, sis. Casey. What kind of lady fox are you looking for? <laughs> what kind of lady am I looking for? Hmm. She's gotta be a cheese maker. She's gotta speak three languages. She's gotta be a dancer and a musician and an artist. Just kidding. Yeah, I'm single right to mingle, looking for a lady. Biggest thing is, just gotta love God. Just gotta love me. Just gotta be polite. I like a woman who's really polite and considerate. Someone who's selfless. She's gotta be a looker, of course. I gotta definitely find her attractive. You know what I'm saying? If you guys know anybody, wink! Single! Send them my way. Comment uh, if you know anybody. Next question comes from Kim on Instagram. Exactly how many inches is your hair? This hair is four years old. I've never actually, like, measured it before. I have just the ticket to figure this out. Yes. All right. All right. Let's, let's give it a go. Start from there. Exactly 22 inches. 22 inches? That is crazy. That's like, it blows my mind, 22 inches. So there you have it, almost two foot long. <laughs> All right, next question. Alex on Instagram, out of your current videos, which are you the most proud of? There's parts of each video that I'm proud of. So the fair video, the second video that I did, I'm really proud of the color of that one. I don't know, I've tried to replicate the color, the grade of the look of it, and I haven't been able to replicate it since. And I don't know what I did to do it, but I just, I think it looks, the color looks amazing on it. I think the ax throwing one was fun. I found like the perfect song and you know, like got to do all the sound effects. There's nothing like the first 
my first video. Kind of just all the excitement of like, not knowing what to expect, not knowing where this was going. The next question comes from Serena on Instagram. How did you get a career in videography? Well, it all started in high school. We'd start doing stuff for school and start doing stuff for church. My brother got a job at an advertising agency as a graphic designer, did a, a little job for them, and they're like, hey, you wanna come on board and be our full-time production guy, so. That's that's how I did it. The next question comes from OK Nasty 10 on YouTube. What software do you use for video editing? All Adobe products. I did a lot in Final Cut, doing the Apple stuff, and then, dude, I just made the leap. I cut all my videos in Adobe Premiere. I color them all in Adobe Premiere. I use After Effects for some stuff. The next question comes from Valerie on YouTube. We see you enjoying lots of food on your vlog, but what is your absolute favorite? It'd have to be a split between two. Anything from the Mediterranean, like shawarma and falafel, falafel. And all that stuff. I also love Mexican. I can't get enough of fajitas, and gorditas, uh, guacamole. Next one comes from Amranda from YouTube. Rondo. If you could learn and master one new skill, what would it be? I think it would probably be in the realm of special effects. You know, make a transformer move or, you know, like. Animation. Yeah, animation. But I also would love to learn the shamisen. If you guys ever, do you guys know what a shamisen is? Asian, like, guitar that geishas would play. And they have, like, the little paddle. Another one from Kim. How many pieces of gum can you fit in your mouth? No idea. I've never even tried. All right. Well. One. <laughs> 10. Mm, want some more. 11. 13. Mm -hmm. Done? 15. Mm. That's double bubble. <clears throat> That's what 15 pieces of gum looks like. Yeah. I wouldn't try that at home, kids. Well, Later. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that out real quick. Yeah. If you can meet anyone from history, who would you meet and why? Christopher Nolan. Like, all day. He's my favorite director. Dude, I would love to, like, sit down and just have a conversation with him and just get to know him. I'd love to like have him as like a friend. So I think I'm gonna put Cameron on the spot and ask him a question myself. And this is gonna be coming from Dan IRL. What are your top five favorite video game characters? Mm, dude, that is tough. Played like a ton of games growing up. Link from Zelda. Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. Could we put like three Pokemon into one category? Yeah, that works. I love Dragonair, Lapras, Moltres. Those are like my favorite growing up. Those three were like, I always loved like the legendary kind of feel like, you know. Donkey Kong is like my favorite Smash character growing up all through, all the way up. Sumo Santa from Clay Fighter 63 and 30. <laughs> Last question comes from Kenzie on Instagram. What is the ASP velocity of an Aladdin swallow? What do you mean? An African or a European swallow? I, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for all of the questions. Comment below what you'd love to see next. I love hearing from you guys. I'll give a huge thank you to my brother Daniel for helping me co-host this video. He's on Twitch, so go check him out. As promised, I'm gonna read off some comments from past videos. From my very first video, I'm Miranda Ferris. Something only nature can do for you. Dude, yes. Thank you for bringing a little bit of that experience to the rest of us. Valerie Hoover on my Encounter Conference video, she says, yes, you should do shopping with Cameron in one of your vlogs. It also seems you should do some sort of dating vlog. You keep asking if everyone's taken. And lastly, for my Salmon River Falls video, Mark Hanna says, I crush that subscribe button every time I watch your videos. <laughs> Love you, Mark. Thank Cheers. you guys so much. Hit that like button. Crush that subscribe button. And we'll catch you in the next. Peace. Outtake. <laughs> Outtakes. <laughs> or that pink stuff they uh, they used to use in the chicken nuggets at McDonald's. Oh, that's, 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 that's so gross. This cup is terrible. Let's rip it off, dude. <laughs>